Carter, uh, it's been a while since fans inside the BC Coliseum have seen someone shoot seven for seven from three point land in the second half. Take us, take us through how you felt on the court and just seemed like your teammates were looking for you. Absolutely, I got to give all the credit to them. They uh, they found me, and uh, my job is to make shots. You know, to know your job, do your job. And I appreciate them. You know, looking for me when I was open. And just you know, just once I hit the first one, they just just got into a rhythm and a flow. And felt super comfortable. How many times have you have you done that before? 20, 20 points and twenty or twenty five points in like seven minutes of the game. I'll say that he's done a lot in practice. He he might be humble, but he he can shoot the ball. Just go as any goes in, you know. Just, just getting into a rhythm and flow is the whole thing. Deontay, you, you kind of had Carter's spot in the first half. You were feeling yourself uh, shooting the ball. What allowed you guys to get these open shots tonight and for them to finally go down? Uh, well, Coach, uh, during pregame, really talked about uh, just full speed because I think the last couple games we've been kind of jogging to our offense, and this game we want to just move. Body moving, player moving, just fast, and I was able. We were able to get open shots because they're out of position, and we we're in transition too. So they were they were getting lost in transition, and that ended up getting our open shot. Malachi, I know it's not the start shooting wise that you wanted this season, but it, you took it upon yourself to drive to the hoop and and, and attack in the second half. Was, was that the mind frame at, at halftime? Um, I can't. If my shots are fine, I can't just get in a slump. I got to find ways to help my team. So tonight, that was the night. Um, try to get guys involved, too. So just if my shot's not falling, I still got to find ways to add to this team. Carter, I think at one point you had 17 straight points. So what's, what's that feel like out there when you know you're in a rhythm like that? You know, really, just it just goes back to you know doing my job. I was, I was brought in. You know, to be a shot maker, at, you know, six five. But you know, I got to give all the credit to my teammates for finding me when I was open. And, you know, it's just my job is to just knock down shots. Mal, how does that make your job easier as point guard when he's having a night like that? Yeah, definitely. Uh, when that happens, you just you go out your way to go find him, try to do everything you can to get him a shot. Uh, kind of similar to Texas Southern, that you guys kind of struggled to to find your shot rhythm early. Uh, any particular reason for that tonight? Nah, um, we've had we definitely had two slow starts, um, so that's definitely going to be a um, big priority going into our next games. Uh, Carter, you, you had a few open ones and a few kind of hand in your face three pointers. Do you do you feel the defense when, when you're making shots like that, or is it almost like an open shot? To be honest, to be honest, I've always you know like in the past I've, I've always felt I've shot better with a hand in my face than you know wide open. You know you get wide open and you start thinking about it too much. Where you know you just play on it, just just in rhythm, you just got to shoot, but. You know, they're going in, you know, it's just getting into a flow. Have you been that hot in, in an actual game before where, where you make seven in a row? Whether Maybe not, 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 not or... seven in a row, but I've, I've had past games with, you know, seven, eight, nine threes, yeah. And then I, I think in the second half of about seven minutes, you kind of got the ball, they, they sucked towards you and you found Drick uh, inside. Does, does that kind of show your ability as a passer to kind of dish it off when they're, when they're collapsing on you like that? As a bigger winger guard, I, you know, I would say I have a pretty high IQ being a coach as such, you know, I've, I'm not. I'm not out there looking for mine. You know, I like like to be a team player and get other guys involved as well. Especially if you know I'm I'm drawing the defense in. What's this kind of ride been like for you? You came here in August and probably weren't expecting to play Pac-12 basketball this year. You, you've kind of made a, a quick transition. It seems it's just something I've always dreamed about. You know, worked for it. You know, it's just I'm so appreciative of the staff here for giving me the ability and having faith in me to let me help them. Deontay, you kind of spearheaded the first half effort, uh, even though the team was kind of shooting poorly. I think you had 13 of 26 points. So, uh, can you talk a little bit about stepping up in a situation like that, being able to shoulder the offensive work? Uh, I would just say I was just taking the shots that the defense was giving me, and uh, I was in rhythm. And so, uh, we were everybody was getting open shots; they just weren't knocking them down. Uh, so, I know that we're capable of shooting way better than that, and my shots were just falling in, and my teammates weren't. So, I just know that. As the game's going, everybody will start shooting better, and you guys will see that we're a great shooting team. This was your first night playing with Drick tonight on the floor. What was it like to to, to get him out there tonight? And was it a surprise to you that, that he came in and played? I mean, he's a huge addition to our team. Just as far as just rebounding, just talking on defense. He's a guy that does all the little things that might go unnoticed, but are huge for the team. And 
yeah, we, kn we knew he was going to be able to get some minutes today, so having him is going to help us a lot in the future. And then the 1-3-1, one, one. you guys have switched to that in the second half. You put a Renze Cheatham in the middle of that uh, attacking defense, and he's really shown his ability to defend and, and, and break up the passing lanes. What's been the key for you guys in that defense? Uh, I would say just uh, effort. I think the 13 a one through one zone, you want to call it, is just is effort. And we knew we know Zay is a good defender, and that just gives him a chance to show his ability, uh, just on the ball and being able, being long and, and versatile to just get his hands on balls and deflections. And then uh, we we're just clogging the whole thing up to where the defense or offense can't do anything. So it's been working.